Guys, what's going on? My name is Lewis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is June 7, 2024, and welcome to the Real GS News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some breaking news updates, some very important information coming out. If you can, please share this video. Now, this story here is trending. This here is going to be my third video, but uh, there's a lot of updates. Once again, you have the bear, Russia, deploying air and sea assist for military exercises in a Caribbean, Sleeping Giant official says. So uh, the updates, uh, there's going to be some more stuff. There's going to be some more equipment. And uh, we're talking about nuclear submarines, uh, warships, and now air um I believe they're going to be deploying aircraft, if I'm not mistaken here, guys. So we're going to see what's going on with all this. Uh, 90 miles away. 90 miles away from the sleeping giant that is way too close. <laughs> Man, 90 miles away. The new Cuban event coming as the bear deploys warship and submarines too close the closest enemy of the sleeping giant 90 miles away <sighs> man the bear deploying air and sea assist for military exercises in a caribbean sleeping giant official says hmm <whistles> The bear deploying air and sea assist for military exercises. We're going to get to all this here, guys. Once again, you have the EU member accused the bear. Whoa. Of sabotage across that region as mysterious strike take place across continent. Are they also part of the sabotage happening in the Sleeping Giant? You guys already know about the uh, oil facility and so many other stuff that was taking place. Train developments, that training kind of died off. But, uh, yeah. Mm. String of mysterious strike across this region opens new front in the bare biblical war on the West. Alright, so we're going to see what's going on here, guys. And uh, we do have some more information here. The bear leader slams the Holy Land. He said this is not a biblical war. It is annihilation of many out there. We're talking about innocent. This is the result of sleeping giant policy. And everybody says the bear is bad. We have more breaking news. Even Switzerland prepares for biblical war. You have the F slash A 18 fighters land on highway for first time since 1991. Mm. Nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. Reactions in Europe and Sleeping Giant to Emmanuel map prepares public opinion for biblical war. <whistles> and that's where we at. We are seeing it, we are living it, and we are witnessing Bible prophecy happening right in front of our faces. Alright guys, this is going to be like basically all the info. Um, I'm going to see what's going on with this update of uh, the Caribbean. Or the Caribbean. People have different ways of saying it. But uh, yeah, this is big breaking news here guys. Uh, 90 miles away from us. Someone is like, that is way too close. We do it all the time to the Red Dragon and the Bear and North K. So, people is like, that's too close. So, yeah, well, again, Sleeping Giant does the same thing. And they've been doing it for many, 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 many years. The Bear preparing to deploy aircraft and come back naval vessels to the Caribbean. No, it's not Captain Jack Sparrow. And the Black Pearl. All right, so to conduct military exercises in the coming weeks. It's first exercises in the Western Hemisphere involving both air and sea activity in five years. 
All right. Is this the reason why the four six closed the border? Hmm. The four six is not expressing concern over the deployment. I'm not worried. With the official stating, it poses no direct warning to the sleeping giant. But the four six believe that the bear capital intends to use the exercises as a messaging tactic. After the four six gave the green light to the yellow and blue permission last week to fire sleeping giant equipment across its border into the bear country to defend its territory. The official said that the four six expect the bear capital and will conduct heightened naval and air activity near the sleeping giant that will likely include port calls by combat naval vessels in Cuba and possibly Venezuela. Now, the two long standing of the bear allies that have seen occasional visits from the bear naval assist in the past two decades. Hmm. The exercises may also include aircraft deployment. There we go. The birds. And flights in the region, the official said. The 4-6 administration official suspect, suspect that Cuba approved the Bear Port call, at least in part, over an incident last year in which a sleeping giant nuclear sub docked at Guantanamo Bay Naval Base, angering the Cubans. A second sleeping giant official said. Mm -mm -mm. So once again, the bear has sailed ships into the Western Hemisphere every year from 2013 to 2020. Now again, this is not the first time. They did this back in 2019. This exercise stuff. But uh, again, we are, you know, these type of exercise happening right now. Nowadays, it's pretty hot because we are so close to seeing WW3 uh, between the sleeping giant and the bear. All right, so once again, 2020, excuse me, 2013 and 2020, and has sent flight through the region that have violated the airspace of sleeping giant allies. But the anticipation activity will be the first coordinated air and sea exercise of its kind since 2019 during the 4-5 administration. All right, so once again, 2019, that was the last year that the bear was out there in the Caribbean. We expect that, as it predictable, the bear will amp up the info space with this both to make a point and to unsettle us, the official said. We are not particularly concerned. It is something that they've done before. It's messaging for the bear. This is about the bear showing they are still capable of some level of naval power projection, the official added. So we should expect more of this activity going forward. The Sleeping Giant Navy is tracking the bear movements closely, the official added, and will adopt whatever the necessary postro is to track and to monitor their activity as the exercises unfold. The 4-6 anticipates the bear maneuvers in the Caribbean will culminate in worldwide naval exercises in the fall that will include additional activity in the region, as well as throughout the Pacific. We are tracking this closely, the official added. We are trying to get ahead of this. Once again, one of the breaking news updates, the sleeping giants are saying this is not a concern and they're gonna keep their eye uh, on the bear. Um, so there's gonna be a nuclear submarine there's going to be multiple warships, naval um, vessels. There's going to be some aircraft. And again, like I said, this happened back in 2019. But uh, it, it's it's kind of uh, weird that this is happening at the same time. Vladimir said that he's willing to give others long range. And the reason why you guys already know is because we gave the green light. Well, not we the leader of the sleeping giant gave the green light to the yellow and blue country to fire our equipment weapons towards the bear and so the bear leader he's putting out his message saying if you guys want to do that i have no problem giving my long range to cuba so the sleeping giant needs to be very careful extremely 
extremely careful uh, with the decision making. Give me a second here, guys. The decision making of firing uh, our equipments towards them. All right, guys, let's see what's going on with this story here. This is, uh, once again, big breaking news. The bear leader slams the Holy Land, saying this is not a biblical war. It, it is annihilation of many innocents, and this is the result of the sleeping giant policy. So he's basically saying this is a sleeping giant for you guys. This is what the sleeping giant does. And the sleeping giant says, I'm the bad one. The bear leader, oh, man, he was really busy. The bear leader on Wednesday condemned the complete annihilation of many, many out there in the Strip, where the Holy Land armed forces have been raging a nine-month biblical war against the HAMAS. What is happening right now in the Strip is response to the T-Strike on the Holy Land. It is not like biblical war at all. This is something like a complete annihilation of innocence out there, the bear leader told reporters. We are trying to influence as much as we can the direction of resolving the conflict, including the humanitarian dimension, uh, the bear leader continued. He described the Holy Land and the HAMAS biblical war as a result of sleeping giant policy, which according to him, uh, monopolized efforts to resolve the Holy Land and Palace conflict. Now, the bear has traditionally maintained good relations with both the palace and the authority in the, you know, what state, as well as with the Holy Land, although relations with the latter have cooled again in the past two years. The bear capital says something most of the international community agrees with that the establishment of a palace state is the most credible solution to the Holy Land palace conflict. Mm. The Bay leader says Holy Land isn't fighting a biblical war with the strip, but is committing a complete... You guys already know the rest of that. And I mentioned that uh, Benjamin has uh, has gone too far. I mean, you have innocent out there, and believe it or not, there's a lot of Christians that live in the Strip too, G A Z A Strip. So what we are seeing in the Strip is not a biblical war, but a total destruction of you know what. Hmm. And that's the end for that one, there, guys. Now we're going to see what's going on with this one here. And this is not going to be a long video today, guys. It's been a long day. Very long day. Man, I'm just... I'm thinking about when it comes to nighttime videos. I'm not going to post like 40 hours or so one hour. It's just very long. And uh, yeah, going to sleep re uh, really late. Uh, i just going to have to go to sleep early from now on. You have the Swiss Armed Forces have landed the F slash a um, 18 fighter jets on a stretch of highway in the country west testing the aircraft ability to operate from impro uh, improvised site I mean heightened security concerns in Europe broadcast live on Swiss television the fighter jets were scheduled to land and take off on a section of the a1 motorway between the towns of Aventis and Payenne in the French speaking part of Switzerland. It went very well, this person said, the first pilot to land on the highway since 1991. My goodness. <laughs> so, wow. Uh, it goes to tell you that things are really serious nowadays. The Swiss Gov said last week that the test was necessary because all Swiss Air Force assists were concentrated at three airfield in paying, um, skip all that, making them vulnerable to enemy long-range equipments. To mitigate the risk of strike by long-range, 
the Swiss Armed Forces relied on being able to deploy their forces from decentralized temporary locations. Once again, the F slash A18 landing on a highway was the first since 1991 in neutral Switzerland, which is the middle of this month with host, a major summit aimed at paving the way for peace in the yellow and blue. More than two years later, the bear invasion. All right. And that's all the, uh, that's all the information for this one here. All right, we're going to see what's going on with this one. Emmanuel has been all over the place. Reaction in Europe and Sleeping Giant to Emmanuel Map. Mm, prepares public opinion for biblical war. Let's see what's going on here, guys. The yellow and blue has the right, according to international law, to use... Ooh. German equipment against targets in the bare border area. And that's why German is uh, preparing their sirens. And I did post a video about the, uh, the broadcast announcement or emergency notification announcement. they also getting bunkers ready. They're getting a lot of stuff ready. So you have the counselor, Olaf, repeated this, reaffirming the change of attitude of the German Gov. 13 Western land, including 11 European lands, have agreed to let the yellow and blue capital use their equipment to strike target inside the bear, despite strong opposition from many nations. In the bear media, the image of Macron, who on a visit to uh, Germany stood in front of the crowd with a small map in his hand, arguing why the French equipment fired from the yellow and blue should be able to hit the bear. Now, guys, the leader of this land, the Sleeping Giant leader, he came out today, and I did post a video. He came out and said that the equipment is not going to hit the bear country. It's not going to hit the bear capital, Moscow, or the Kremlin. It's going to hit Kharkiv. Now, Kharkiv is inside the yellow and blue, uh, the yellow and blue country, Ukraine. It's just in the eastern part which I believe all that is annexed by the bear, by Russia. The images can only refer to a period shortly before the outbreak of a great biblical war. The European citizens march on Hungarian and German capitals in rising NATO role in the yellow and blue as they see biblical war coming. There's some people out there just, again, with flyers and saying this is not our biblical war we don't want this and that's it for that one war news 24 7 is taking some time off <laughs> Man. uh these three articles just went really quick all right give me a second here guys And it seems like this is going to be all the information. I post every single... I've been making a lot of videos, guys. 30 minutes videos. And yeah, this is all the information so far. Give me a second here. Whoa. Whoa. Guys, give me a second here. Look at this. Look at this. National depth clocks showing zero. 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 Hold on. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to click on it. I'm trying to see if it's true. It's not working it's not working <laughs> so what again what's going on with the uh, national debt clock website 
It's not working. It's not working. I I can't log into it. Alright, so let me just open a new window. Here we go. I'm just gonna It's not working. Something is wrong with the Ah It's not working. Something is wrong with the national dev clock. This is something uh yeah, there's something something strange going on here, guys. Give me a second here. Give me one second. I mean, everything else is good. Let me look up. Let me just pull this up really quick. All right. Let me just. Let me let me put. Uh, let me put Cuba. Cuba. All right. Let's search for Cuba. It's working. My internet's working. Uh, it's just that that dev clock page is not working. It's not working. Something is wrong with the U.S. national dev clock. This site can uh, can't be reached. Uh oh. That tells us how much we owe. We were at, I don't know how many, 30 something trillion dollars. Now it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. National debt clock showing zero. Now the website doesn't work. USWebsite.org. Debt clock. Give me a second here. Uh oh. Uh oh. What happened here? What happened here? Guys, what happened here? Okay, so the number came up. All right, so everything else just came up. You see that? But the U.S. national debt is zero. <laughs> the debt per citizen is zero. And the debt per taxpayer is zero. What in the world is going on here? The US debt on uh, usdebtclock.org zero This is the first time ever What's going on here? I didn't click that. I it's something's going on with this website. Um I come here almost once a week, you know, to see where we are right now, but yeah, um Let me just take a screenshot of this. Um, strange stuff is going on right now. This is uh, this is something very. I mean, it should, it should be concerning. Wow. Give me a second here. Let me just pull up the information. U.S. Dev Clock at zero. There's nothing going on in the news. Let me go on Twitter.
Ooh, everybody's talking about it. Everybody's talking about it. 11 minutes ago, U.S. Death Clock as Zilla. What's going on? Great movie. Sorry, but now to get off topic, why is the Death Clock currently at Zilla? I can't. Yeah, this person's saying I can't open the Death Clock right now. Death Clock. Has uh, U.S. debt at zero. Wow. How come that says time machine? U.S. debt clock at zero must be a Truman Show glitch. <laughs> oh man. Um, why is the U.S. debt clock at zero? Did 4-6 pay the bill? What in the world? Uh, U.S. debt clock is at zero. I never seen it. Never seen it at zero, guys. This is the first time. Um, if you can, please share this video. And I just pulled up the website. I just pulled up the website. I just uh, I went to the Google search bar and I wrote down U.S. debt clock dot org. All right. So that's what I put right there. You see, uh, usdebtclock.org. Wow. We are no longer broke. We are rich. Uh, absolutely not. Uh, it's still red. It means that uh, we are basically red alert. There's something going on here, guys. Um, nobody knows why, but uh, I do believe this is uh, this is gonna trend pretty soon. And uh, if you guys can, please share this video. I'll be keeping updated on this one here. But uh, yeah, this is all the information coming out right now. But wow, uh, this is huge, big, breaking news. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end the video right here. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you can, please share this video. And uh, thank you so much, everyone, for all the support. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It sends a... Uh, it sends in, uh, a signal to YouTube, and YouTube will see that, and, you know, they were sh uh, share my video instead of putting my video under the rug. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the right this path, and that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us a letter, it's a prayer request, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.